Hey there, is there a word that seems to be repeatedly popping out at you in this picture? You probably noticed that technical object seems to be pointing at a lot of different things. Technical objects is what this lesson is about. But first, we need to understand what is a technical object? In this lesson, we're going to look at the definition of a technical object, some examples of them, and finally, we're going to look at what you need to consider when you want to create a technical object. So let's get started. So what did all those objects with arrows pointing at them have in common? They're not necessarily in the same category of anything, except that, hmm, well let's see, they're all made by humans. And that's exactly the definition of a technical object. It's simple. It's a man-made object that serves a specific purpose or function. Here are four images presented in the tablet. Can you spot the one that is not a technical object? If you guess the beautiful mountains and sky and trees, that is correct. These are beautiful things found in nature, things that humans did not create. So it is not anything in here a technical object, whereas the fedora, the globe, and the light bulbs are all made by humans. Now that we've defined and looked at examples of technical object, let's consider what are the things that need to be thought of before a technical object is created. Well, firstly, you need to consider what is the function and purpose of it. You need to consider the materials that will be needed and the constraints and deformations. Let's think of a pencil. What's the purpose or function of a pencil? A pencil is a tool that you can write with. So then the next thing you want to consider is if it's something that you can write with, what are the constraints and deformations that will be applied? Well, in a pencil's case, you're going to need to be applying compression, right? You'll be squeezing it on all sides as you write. Now, if I'm putting compression on a pencil as I'm writing, what are the best materials needed? What are some material options to use so the pencil does not permanently deform or break or rupture? A real quick overview of what constraints are, they're the stress experienced by external forces and they can be compression, tension, torsion, bending, or shearing. In a pencil's case, it will be compression that is being applied. There are three kinds of deformations that can happen due to constraints. Elastic, which means that the deformation is very temporary and the technical object resumes its shape. Plastic deformation, which is permanently deformation, and fracture, meaning that it is broken, it is crushed. Technical objects are everywhere. If you're holding or using anything that is not naturally found in nature, but uses the resources on this beautiful planet, then it's a technical object. Technical objects can be as simple as paper to as complicated as machine. And that's it for technical objects. See you next time.